Okay, let's talk about arrays in PHP. So in PHP, you can create an array the same way you do in JavaScript with this square bracket syntax. But the square bracket syntax was introduced in version 5.4. So this is version 5.4 and up. If you're using version 7 or some variant of 7, this is absolutely fine. If you think you may have to support earlier versions, then what you would do is instead of the square brackets, we use the array method, just like this. This is a simple way to create an array in PHP. Call the array method, you pass in your items. Now, if you just list them like this, what's going to happen is they're going to be automatically given integer based indices. So in integer based keys, this will be element zero, this will be number one, this will be two, this will be three. So how do we add elements to an array? So we've declared one, we've assigned it to the variable toppings. What if I wanted to add lettuce to this list? Well, we can say toppings and then two square brackets with nothing inside and then the item we want to add. That's it. If you use this, the square bracket syntax, what happens is the integer based items are all counted. They look for the highest index in this case, 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3 is the highest integer value in here. The number 3 has 1 added to it, 4. This becomes toppings sub 4, just like this. If you wanted to output toppings, any one of the toppings, let's say number two, there it is, there's pickles. We'll zoom in a little bit here, there we go. So number two, that's the index for here, the key for here. Now if you note, I've got up here this comment, they can be key, uh, the, the keys can be integers or strings. I'm using integers here, but I can use strings as the keys. So I could add something new to my array. Toppings sub cheese. Now I'm adding something to this array, the one that's got four elements. There's a brand new thing going to be added to the end of it, and it is going to be called cheese. And let's say it's going to be cheddar. So I want to take a look and see what's inside of toppings. This is a very useful method in PHP, var dump. Uh, whenever you want to look at elements to see everything about them. Here we go. Here's the output from that. So toppings is an array with six elements inside of it. Element zero is a string with seven characters called ketchup. One is a string with seven characters, mustard, two, pickles, three, onions, four, lettuce, and then cheese. So zero, one, two, three, four, now cheese. These are all the keys that we have inside of here. If I want to get rid of an element, so this is how we add either with the empty square brackets or by creating or using um, some string or numeric value. Like I could overwrite here as well with this. I know I'm jumping around a little bit. So number zero is ketchup. So let's say we decided we wanted to spell it differently. There we are. Now this is the value of the first element in the array. We've changed the spelling. So we've changed it from this to this because we targeted one specific element. So without anything in the square brackets, that's adding to the array. With something inside there, it's either adding or it's replacing. If we were to change cheese to something else, let's say we wanted to change cheese to Stilton. There it is. Now, the cheese element in our array has been changed to Stilton. Okay, now as I was saying before, what if I wanted to get rid of one of these elements? Well, I can 
target something the same way as if I'm adding or editing. Let's say uh, number one, mustard. We want to get rid of the mustard. Well, I can't really... I could do this. I could set it to null, but that doesn't really get rid of it. It just changes the value of what was inside there from mustard to null. This doesn't get rid of it, so I don't want to do that. What I can do is the very useful function in PHP called unset. You want to get rid of a value? You want to get rid of a variable? We can do this. So toppings, and then we put the one that we want to get rid of. There it is. Now there is no longer anything in my array called one, or with the key one. And it's for this reason that if you look at the length property, it doesn't really matter what these numbers are. So you could end up with an array that has elements 0, 5, 12, 72, and the length of the array is 4. If I then appended something else onto the array, so let's let's do that right now actually. Let's add toppings and we'll add tomato. There it is. Number five is used. So one was available to us here, but as I was saying earlier, what it does is it looks through all the integers, finds the highest integer, adds one to that, and that becomes the new one when you use square brackets with nothing inside of it. If you want to get rid of the entire array, we can also use unset and just pass in the name of the array. There we go. Undefined variable toppings. We have killed that variable. There is nothing inside of there. If I didn't want to destroy the whole thing, if I just wanted to reset it, well, then you can just set toppings equal to an empty array or equal to array like this. There it is. An empty array just looks like that. All right, now there are a whole bunch of array methods that you can use for sorting and so on. Uh, there are for other ones for adding and removing elements from the beginning, from the end, from the middle, replacing elements that are inside there. But I'll do another video about all these different array methods that we've got. The one method that I will show you here, just to get you started, is very commonly you're going to want to know how many elements are inside of my array. So here we will get rid of the code to delete everything. If you want to know how many elements are inside there, there's two methods. There's a size of, and there's also count. These two methods do the exact same thing right here. So there's six elements. That's the size of. There's six elements. That's the count. Um, here we can space these all out a little bit better. So we'll just inject a little bit of HTML. Oh, semicolons needed at the end of every line. There we go. So pickles, that was element in position two, or with the key two, not position two. Uh, because you can mix integers and strings. So there we are. And size of toppings, six. Count toppings, six. These two methods do the same thing. They are the same things. They're just aliases for one another. And then var dump. Whenever you want to find out everything that's inside your array, you can do this. Okay, so that's your basic introduction to arrays in PHP. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.